What is objectification? When feminists talk about objectification, what do they mean? They mean women are being duped. Women deserve a better deal. We also hear them use other similar fancy terms like exploited, alienated, marginalized, sexualized, etc. When Karl Marx spoke of objectification, he meant the tendency to forget that economic relationships are also social relationships, and to just take them for granted. For example, if you do your own farming, then you treat your plants like objects. You put work into your farm, and you get the fruits of your labor. There's no need to worry about reciprocity or negotiation. You simply reap what you sow, as it were. But in a complex, industrialized society, you don't really work for money, as people often think. You work for your boss, who is a person, who can be negotiated with, and who gives you money, which only has value because other people see value in it. So, in other words, you work for a system of social relationships known as capitalism, which can be changed. Therefore, the fruits of your labor are not really your own. They are what society gives to you. If you think that you earn money, then that's considered objectification, because it is taking the rules for granted. Feminists started to use the term objectified a lot because they think of women as the working class or the proletariat. If women are the workers and men are the boss, then objectification is a problem for women, and a good thing for men. The men just get to make up the rules, and the women just have to take the rules for credit. This is why feminists have that tendency to try to make up the rules as they go along. They don't really respect rules because they think the rules will always benefit men at women's expense. They already know that the system is unfair. These days, objectification has come to mean not merely something that happens to social relationships, taken for granted, but something that can be done to a person, taken for granted. So when a man watches pornography, a feminist might say that either the porn actress or women in general are objectified or being taken for granted. Why is that? Because women might be able to get a better deal, but they're not able to negotiate for a better deal. In other words, men should be paying more and doing more for sex so that women can extract more labor and capital from men. It's not as though a feminist doctor can diagnose how objectified somebody is, any more than they can diagnose how ripped off a customer is. There are no symptoms or harmful effects, only opportunity costs. It's just a fancy way of saying women deserve better, and it's a negotiation tactic. Objectification. To be put in a position to deserve better.